Hi, you guys. It's me, Sarah Martucci, your local resident psychic medium, certified crystal healer, paranormal investigator, twin flamed Sasquatch. <laughs> Excuse you. He's mine. <laughs> you guys, this is where I pull a card. And I fight you about Sasquatch. <laughs> This is where I pull a card. If you guys are ready, let's fucking do this, all right? Uh, also, there's no timestamp here, so whenever you see this message is the absolute fucking perfect timing for it. All right, let's see what fucking spirit's got to say today. What message of nonsense <laughs> are you going to bring to us, spirit? Let's fucking talk about it. All right, I'm feeling this card. All right, let's fucking talk about it. Guys, we got the Eight of Cups. Let's fucking talk about this depressing motherfucking card. Okay. <laughs> like, hey. So listen, guys, whenever we get the eight of cups here, uh, usually whenever cups come up, they're going to talk about our emotions. Where are we emotionally? So it's a call to be here and present in this moment so that we can really kind of face what's been going on for us emotionally. With the eight of cups, though, this is like abandonment, moving on, uh, like letting something go that was like really important for us. And it's like really fucking depressing. It fucking hurts. Uh, the eight of cups, though, traditionally, the next card that comes after this is the nine of cups. So there is something to be said for right now, like whatever we've been moving away from, whatever we've maybe let go of here, uh, maybe this also references back to the month of August, or maybe like eight years we've been working on this thing, or like maybe since August this thing has been going on, or maybe around like the eight of a month or something like that. Uh, but what's interesting with the eight of cups, like when we move away from that thing and we move towards peace and maybe um, calmer waters here is like when there is the wish fulfillment, when there uh, we actually get what we want, when we let go of what is not for us, what is emotionally draining us, when we finally let those things go, no matter how much time, effort, love, whatever we put into it, it's actually the most difficult thing to put down. So by being brave here and putting something down that isn't working, that you know isn't fucking for you, moving on from this thing is when you finally open up space for that right thing to come towards you. So if this week you've been holding on to something that isn't working, uh, something toxic that you can't seem to let go, maybe a relationship, maybe a project, maybe a person, place thing, uh, maybe girl, you just been, maybe just been holding in your farts. Let them fucking go this week. <laughs> Let them fucking go this week. Make room for your wish fulfillment. Make room for your joy and your happiness and the things that actually fulfill you emotionally. Make fucking room. And y'all, no more holding on to shit that doesn't fucking work for us. Ain't nobody got fucking time for that. Because what you got to do, you got to do fucking big ass things. And you don't have time for bullshit and fuckery to hold you back. Time to fucking go. Titty shake to the bank, y'all.